Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Worried about this. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I'm gonna sneak up behind him. Okay, let's go for it. Here we go. Oof! Is, is he dead? Everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. I have a goal for today. Actually, it was a bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, we unlocked the Prognathodon a long time ago, along with a couple of other creatures that got released during that time, but like this guy. Uh, but I don't think that I ever actually played as the Prognathodon proper, like meaning that I, I built up his level to the point where like maybe I could even take on the Megalodon or like the Mega Whale in the Arctic area. So that's what I was thinking we're gonna do today. That's my goal. Play as Prognathodon, take down Megalodon. I mean, look at Prognathodon's mouth. It's huge. I think he can take him. And I don't think it'll be that hard, hopefully. But of course, as you guys know, you got to start out from the bottom and you got to work your way up. So we're going to play as the Bebos, but I was thinking we played as Robot Bebos last time. Let's play as Skeleton Bebos because it's fun and cool and awesome and weird and other creative and descriptive words. Let's go. So at this point, you guys know the drill. You know what we need to do. We got to eat things until we get enough coins to pay for the Prognathodon. Prognathodon costs 250 coins, so it might take a little while to get there. But maybe what we'll do is we'll change up some of the fish along the way. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be a fish made out of bones, which again is, is very weird. It's very strange. Three coins down, 247 to go. Easy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shrimp. Don't mess with a the shrimp. They got some some seriously painful pinchers there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I was level eight. I managed to get 38 coins, which is not enough. We still got some more work to do. Don't get in a fight with a shrimp at level eight, apparently. I'm going to change things up a little bit here. We're going to play as the Mahi Mahi Tuna. And, uh... I like this guy. He's so colorful. He's just made of rainbows. He's a magical creature. It's like the unicorn of the ocean or, or something. I don't know, but we're going to play as him. We're going to hopefully level up to a point where we can start getting lots and lots of coins. Ooh, actually, can we eat these guys whole? The sardines? We can. These are great. Yeah, let's do that. Just got in a fight with an angler fish and it was a lot closer to me dying than I would have liked. It was a little scary to be honest with you, but we got our health back and we managed to win, so give me the XP. Ooh, I'm gonna get my revenge. Take out this shrimp. Let's do this. Bring it on, buddy. Oh, you're in trouble now. Now I've grown up into a big, mad tuna. You're done. You're done, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm turning you into XP whether you like it or not. Stop running away. Victory and revenge. Okay, this thing is taking forever and it didn't give me that much XP. What a waste. Oh no. Oh, I made a terrible choice. Oh, don't fight ghost sharks as Mahi Mahi. Lesson learned, I guess. Should have stuck with the sardines. Whoops. I think I'm gonna play as the Ichthyosaurus. I like this guy. Oh, what do you know? The hunter becomes the hunted. I'm sorry, Mahi Mahi, but uh, you're at the top of the list for things I like to eat as an ichthyosaurus. And that is delicious XP. Thank you very much. Where's the rest of your family? Ooh, another Mahi Mahi. Don't mind if I do. Come here. Oh, <laughs> delicious. Thank you. I think if we play our cards right, we might be able to eat this armored dude. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to sneak up behind him and just stay behind him. Like this. Yeah, this might actually work. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Come on. He can't get us. He can't bite me. I think he's dead. Yeah. We beat it. All right, this is going to be some excellent XP. Just got to chomp it down into bite-sized morsels. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's so much XP here. This is incredible. The... Oh my goodness, we need more of these guys. Please, I need to eat this meat fast though. It's gonna attract bigger predators that can eat me. And I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that, but I like this. Oh, oh, you scared me, swordfish. I can eat you. Don't pick a fight with me. Oh, see, see what happens? Uh, that was awesome. Can I have more of those, please? Ooh, 
Ooh, I, I don't want to be involved with this. Nope, nope. Ooh, what about whale sharks though? Please don't swallow me whole like a vacuum. Please, I just want to eat you. I'm a little scared because Megalodon is eating Prognathodon right behind me right now. And, uh, it, oh, please don't see this. Please don't see me over here. Don't look at me. I do have enough money now to play as the Prognathodon. So, uh, I guess I don't have to worry too much about it. I'm just, oh my gosh. I'm just going to keep racking up as many coins as I can from killing these whale sharks. And then we'll go from there. Holy cow, that was like 10 levels in an instant and like 400 coins. That was beautiful. You, come here. I'm gonna get enough coins so that I can play as the Prognathodon at least twice because you don't want to start as a new animal and then immediately die as that animal and then not have any coins left. So there we go. 626, more than enough to play as the Prognathodon. Let's do it. There he is. This guy is so cool. I love the look of this monster. He's, he, I mean, he looks like a dinosaur, straight up. And that is very, very awesome. The only thing I need to be mindful of is uh, Megalodon. And uh, so far, we're okay. We're in a good spot. And we could just, can we just eat these tuna? I mean, these tuna are giving me pretty good XP and they're just respawning here. Hmm, this might actually be a pretty good good source of XP for a little bit and a very safe source for XP. Man, this guy is so cool. I love the way that he moves. He's like a he's like a snake, a giant snake in the ocean. It's man, this is a cool cool monster. So hopefully we can get him to the point where he can beat the Megalodon. I also want to see if he can beat the Mega Whale in the Arctic area. So we'll see. We will definitely see. Mm-mm, tuna. One of my favorite types of sushi. What can I say? Me and Prognathodon have a lot in common, including just slightly different uh, mouth shapes. Only slightly, though. Oh, hello, tuna. I'm glad that you've all gathered together so that I can eat you in almost an instant. Grubhub and DoorDash, they got nothing on this guy. The, the tuna comes to me. It's amazing. I also just realized this guy has to breathe. I did not, I didn't know that. I guess that makes sense. He is a reptile. Okay, so we have some, uh, I think these are tiger sharks. Let's see, can we eat these guys? Oh, oh, I just, yeah. Yeah, we can eat these guys. Can I eat them whole? No, not quite. I'm not there yet, but I actually haven't even leveled up yet. So once I level up, I imagine it won't take too long to start being able to eat the uh, tiger sharks whole. And if you guys have seen my other episodes, you know that the tiger sharks are some of the best XP. Once you can start eating these guys entirely whole. I did see Megalodon over there though, and that scares me. I don't. I don't know if I want to be here anymore. Hey, what about you guys? You're probably really good XP, so I'm going to eat you, okay? I hope you don't mind. Oh my gosh, a thousand for each of those chunks. That is pretty good, pretty good. Now these guys have armor on their face, so because I'm biting him on his face, he's not going down as quickly. So basically what I need to do is uh, sneak around and get to a point where I'm not biting his face. There. There you go. That's all it took. One bite. The prehistoric beast has been unleashed. And I love this guy. This is so cool. However, I need to go breathe. I need air. Please. My lungs. They are very sick. There we go. Air. It's great. You can quote me on that one. Is that a great white shark? I think it is. I'm going to go for it. This is probably a bad decision, uh, especially if he turns around. And if he gets a bite on me, that could be really, really bad. Oh, that was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, great white sharks. Good food. Very, very good food. I'm also noticing that the, like, his bite takes forever to open. Like, you really have to plan your bites with this guy. But once he does a bite, it's over, pretty much. I mean, it does so much damage. It's kind of amazing. I love it. Thank you for existing, Prognathodon. You're a joy to work with. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we should go eat some whale sharks, actually. They could be really, really good XP. Oh, this Ichthyosaurus. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eating my own kind. So actually, let's head over to the Arctic area and uh, let's eat some whale sharks. Oh, there's big old boss whale. We are not ready to take him on, but we're probably pretty close. But I definitely want to level up before I take him on. That that just seems like suicide right now. Hey, blobfish. I love these guys. Not to mention they're delicious. Oh, I can't eat them whole? Really? 
Can't eat the blobfish whole. That's interesting. They're not worth much XP. So I'm not gonna mess around with them. There's good old whale shark. Hello, my friend. I'm sorry about this, but your XP is just too good to resist. So I'm going to eat you. Oh, look at that. Look at how much XP there was. Ooh, so good. More. Give me more. There's a whole bunch of meat over here. What's the, how did this end up up here? Did, did something bigger than me make this happen? That kind of scares me. I don't know. I'm going for it though. And I'm gonna eat it. There's nobody else here. It's free XP. I'll take it. Whale sharks. Oh, there's two of them. Yes, please. All right. Let's prepare for attack. It's like a torpedo. Fire. <laughs> he does so much damage. Oh, I love this guy. So good. There's another whale shark. Oh, you're in for a treat, buddy. I mean, you're dead. So I don't know if that's really a treat, but I'm in for a treat. So thank you for your service. Oh, it's the like slightly smaller version of Prognathodon. I, I forget what they're called. I think it starts with a K. Chronosaur or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Probably butchering it, but I think I can eat this guy if he would stop running away from me. Hey, where are you going? Oh, dead rip. That was good. That's pretty good XP. Acceptable, for sure. There's another whale shark. Definitely is going to get eaten. Eaten. I know I can eat the orcas, but they're kind of fast. And they're kind of hard to keep up with. So I don't know if they're worth the trouble. And also, they're adorable. But, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a fish eat fish world. Sorry, orca. You were in my way. And you were XP. So this guy has a mechanic that's similar to like the Mahi Mahi, also the swordfish. I think there's a few other ones that are similar. Basically, he does more damage the faster that you're moving when you bite. Uh, so you could see I did like 1100 damage there. That was basically my maximum damage output. You can see that yellow. Oh, that was 2000 damage. Oh my gosh. That's just insane. But you can see that yellow gauge right above my uh, XP bar. Uh, basically, that fills up when I speed up and when it's fully all the way up, uh, that's when I do my most damage. So you kind of have to time it correctly, but honestly, the monsters that we're eating right now, it doesn't really matter. We, we kind of kill all of them in one bite anyways. Now it might matter with big old whale boss boy and Megalodon. So we'll keep that in mind for the future, but right now, let's just enjoy this XP and keep eating things, you know, cause that's kind of the name of the game. Feed and grow. Ooh, Xyfactinus, I think is the name of this guy. Yeah, <laughs> one bite, he's gone. Oh, I'm so, so sorry, but not really. This whale shark is running away from me. I almost feel bad, but I really don't because their XP is just so good. So I'm now level 10. I can kill pretty much anything on the map, but I don't know if I can kill Megalodon. Okay, so I am now level 12. I think I'm gonna go for big old whale boss. And I am very scared, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm hoping that because our damage output is just so insane that he just won't even have a chance. That's what I'm really hoping for. So I'm trying to time this so that I can build up my damage meter with my speed before he notices us. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about this. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I'm gonna sneak up behind him. Okay, let's go for it. Here we go. Oof. Is he dead? He's dead in one bite? For real? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Honestly, was not expecting to take him out in one bite, but uh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy is like a nuclear bomb. You just drop him and he destroys whatever he's pointed at. This thing is incredible. I'm sorry, Mega Whale, but uh, I don't think you really stand a chance against Prognathodon. My bad. I thought it would be a better fight. It wasn't. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. We'll give him credit where credit's due, but I don't, I don't think it's looking very good for him. I guess we'll just continually eat these things until we get to a level where we feel like we might be able to take on Megalodon. I mean, obviously Megalodon is tougher than this guy, but I don't know how much more health he has than him. It's probably not too much more health. So the fact that we're taking this guy out in one bite kind of makes me feel pretty confident about taking on Megalodon, but I don't want to rush it. You don't want to get to Megalodon and then fail because then you have to start over and that stinks and I don't want to do that. So let's not risk it and let's just continue leveling up on, on Whale Boy over here and uh, enjoy the, the free XP basically. All right. 
So I think level 30 is probably more than enough, but I always try to be safer than, than sorry. I know that's not the way that phrase goes, but that's what I just said. So we are now level 31. The time has come. Megalodon, where are you? Let's go find him. Oh, uh, that is horrifying. By the way, did these guys kill each other? I think they killed each other. Very interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear up the body here uh, so that he can respawn and he he'll be around here somewhere. <gasps> oof, oof. I don't, I don't want to do this. Oh gosh. Um, okay. We, we don't want him to see us first. We want to sneak up behind him, hit him hard. Okay. Okay. We can do this. He's going for our brother's dead body. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> okay. Oh, he is tearing him to pieces and we're just watching. We are just watching it happen. Okay. Okay. I'm in. I destroyed. Two bites. Uh, yeah. I would say we are now king of the ocean. A uh, prognathodon just destroyed the so-called predator of the ocean in two bites. That's insane. That's absolutely <laughs> insane. I love this guy. He is basically the nuclear warhead of the sea. And for that, I am forever grateful. Prognathodon, look at him. Oh, that is so cool. He's like a giant alligator snake that lives underwater. That's pretty sweet. Alligator snake, what more can I say? Now, Megalodon, I would love to fight another one, but it seems that they're too scared of me. Oh, what happened there? Oh, the body floated to the, the, the top and then it just burst into delicious morsels of meat. So uh, why don't we eat them? Cause they're here. <laughs> Why not? Okay, Meg. Oh, there he is. I see you, buddy. Should we take him head on? I mean, like, see who who will prevail in like a head-to-head -head battle? Not sneak up on him. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right. I'm swimming right at him. Bam! Literally one bite, and he is dead. Um. Okay. Yeah. Prognathodon officially OP, and I love it. This is amazing. Megalodon does not stand a chance. I am so sorry, but I am now the ruler of this ocean. Tough luck, pal. Tough luck. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. <laughs> He's trying. He's definitely trying, but it's not working. It's not working at all. Well, there you have it, guys. The clear ruler of the ocean. Oh, he's so cool. I love it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Feed and Grow Fish. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And me and Prognathodon, we'll see you guys next time.